today we have ourselves a MacBook Air 11 inch. This one is in because it's just simply not turning on. I did pop off the bottom and find a little bit of liquid damage on here. And since my last stream, I've actually gotten some software that works with my hardware here. So here I got a multimeter that now plugs in through USB. And here I have my DC power supply. So whenever we hook up a cable to our MacBook here, uh, we pull, I think it's like 0 0.17. Let's go ahead and switch over to the overhead cam. So when we plug in our MagSafe 2, let's see how much power we consume. Not even that, 0 0.011. So this is just not even turning on. We're not even getting a light on our MagSafe here. And to have fun with our new multimeter software, let's check and see if we have our PP3v4 2 because that needs to be present before we even get a line, uh, a light on our MagSafe charger. So PP3v4 2 on this is going to be over on this side of the MacBook Air. And we are getting 3.4, 3.45. So that is close enough. So somewhere between 3.4, or our PP3v4 2 and our SMC, we are not getting a uh, signal on the Sys1 wire to actually turn on our charger. Looks like a little bit of corrosion in our SPI connector. Do we have a PP bus being generated? PP bus is present. All right, so at this point, being that I do see a little bit of liquid damage here on our SPI connector, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the board. I think we need to address that first. And just to show you underneath the microscope camera, so we got a great bit of corrosion, and what I'm really concerned is that pin on the far left. So let's check and see real quick on our schematics what exactly that part of the, the um, SPI connector is. And let's see what we got here. So our JTAG connection, which goes to the SPI, is J6100. And we got SMC TMS is touching ground. We're just going to go ahead and pull this connector off and see what happens, but I want to pull this out of the board first, out of the housing first, before we do anything else. So let's switch over to our overhead cam and just work on pulling our board out. So we have more than just liquid damage on our SPI connector. So let's set this board aside. There is some liquid on the bottom of the board, some liquid damage that is now oxidized. So whenever we flip it over, we have a good bit of corrosion over here. So let's find out exactly what this is. So let's pull up our flex board view. Here it is. So U1950, which from my experience has been a logic gate. Let's see if that's what it is. Yep. All right, so what this is, and I actually just edited a video that I did last year talking about this exact same thing. This is a logic gate that is responsible for turning or sending a signal to our platform controller hub uh, that it is getting the proper power to turn on. Now, I actually have still not been able to uh, understand the circuit because what is so confusing about it is that what the logic gate does is it takes PP3v4 to G3 hot and in order for it to go from pin 8 to pin 7 to make PMSOP good, both pin 1 and pin 2 have to be present. So pin 1 is all sys power good. So all the power needs to be present, um, as well as CPU VRP good present before it will send the signal. But, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that um, all sys power good will not be present until we actually have a signal from our PM PCHP um, power OK um, to turn on our PM Sleep S4L line to turn on the rest of our power rail. So like PP5 v, uh, PP5 VS5, PP3 V3 S5, S4, um, S3, and eventually it makes all this power good. So this line cannot be present until this line is present, but this line will not be present until this line is present. So still confused about it, but there is a lot of damage around it. We're just going to go ahead and replace U1950 to see if that changes anything in our amperage consumption. Switch back over to our microscope camera. And just kind of clean it up a little bit. I'm actually looking at it, and now that we just kind of touched it up, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> but just not to get trolled. 
from the last time. We're going to go ahead and pull it off anyways. Okay, now we got to find a donor board. Alright, so we got a donor board right here. Turn this sideways, and let's heat the area up. While it's cooling off, let's kind of examine the rest of the board. So we got a lot of junk around here too. So that's going to be our U8180 which looks like is responsible for PM Sleep S3 Buff L, which eventually turns on our SOs. So that is something that we may have to address later. Now that we cleaned up that area real quick, let's check and see if we get a, de a different reading on our amperage consumption. All right, let's see what happens when we have it connected. We're now getting a fan spin and amperage con uh, the proper amperage consumption, but we're still missing a light here. And see, you can, you can, let's see, where, where is it? Right here. You can see we're now consuming 0 0.3. Uh, it spiked up there to 0 0.7, which is usually a uh, booting amperage. And we do have our fan spin. So I'm curious if we have an SO line here too. Over here on a power aliases, so it's PPVCC SO CPU. We have some lines here on the back of it. It's going to be all these tiny little capacitors. And we should get, be getting about 1.8 volts. Those capacitors that actually aren't there, they're just solder points. 1.8. Perfect. All right. So it looks like that this one may be fixed. We'll have to do a couple of tests on it, hook it back up. Let's go ahead and put it back into the housing and see if we actually get everything else working. Alright, yeah, now we're getting a light just fine. So what I think happened is when I pulled the board out, I uh, didn't have the MagSafe I.O. board connected all the way. Because it seems to be working every single time now. Alright, so this is going to turn on three times before it actually boots up all the way. And I see a backlight. There we go. And what kind of test do we have on here? Let's do test High Sierra. That always seems to be a nice, safe one to work with. Cool. So this is booting up just fine. So I think we may have fixed our issue. I'm still going to run some more tests on it before we give it an ultrasonic cleaning. So this looks like this is a successful board repair. It turns on. It didn't have power, but it has power now. Uh, this one, we were just getting absolutely nothing. It was about uh, 0 0.0011 amps. Very, very little. And Well, I guess you could say it'd be 1 milliamp is what it was pulling. And whenever we pulled the logic board out, we found a little bit of liquid damage on our U1950. Now, U1950 is a logic gate, which is responsible for sending a signal to our platform controller hub, which is built into our processor, 
which is going to then generate our other lines like uh, PM sleep S4L, which is the line needed to kick the computer out of the S5 state, go into S4, S3, and SO. SO meaning turned on all the way. So there was a lot of corrosion, but just kind of took a chance since there was a lot of liquid around U1950 to just uh, straight up replace it. And that seems to have fixed the issue. And like I said, we're going to do some more quality control testing on it, uh, but that seems to be a successful board repair.